Hi, my name is Tommaso Liccioli. Hmm, an animatronic head. Whoop, whoop. This is some rubbish that I should have thrown away a long time ago, and a bunch of cheap electronic components bought on eBay. I should have everything to build myself a friend. My idea is to use the aluminium can as the external skull. While inside, a wooden frame will support the servo motors and the microcontroller board. I will use two servo motors to control the horizontal and vertical movement of each eye, one for each eyebrow and one for the mouth, with a total of seven servos. I want to control the movement of the servos in two ways, manual or automatic. In manual mode, each servo is controlled using potentiometers, while push buttons will recall preset position of the servos to create five different facial expressions. To switch between automatic and manual mode, I will use an on-off switch. The head will be fitted with two extra push buttons to trigger the two interrupts, one controlling an alarm if the head is lifted and the second to control another X-factor. I have started working with some balsa wood from some old picture frames. Cut a size, glue, drill, car and voila! I have a central support for hosing my 7 servo motors. The support will be placed inside of the can and bolted to the bottom. I wired the servo motors connecting them in parallel to a 4 AA battery pack. A bit of soldering, gluing, and by the way hot glues was really necessary for this project and try to be as precise as possible to make it look good but also because I will need to pack many wires in a small space. Then I added some support for the Arduino board clone purchased for $18 and this is the result. I have then started drilling the can and created five holes where I will place some push buttons. I have soldered the push buttons with some rigid wire for the common ground. This will make it easier to position in them, and I will use these buttons to recall preset facial expressions. I have done similar thing with the seven potentiometers, soldering them rigidly and placing inside of a can. The potentiometers will be used to manually move each servo motors individually. Then I had to connect the 9 volts and the AA battery pack to a two-channel switch to power the board and the servo simultaneously at start up. Other electronic components include the switch to select between manual mode using the potentiometer or automatic mode recalling the preset facial expression using the push buttons, a red and a blue LED connected to a common ground using a 670 ohm resistor will be used for the alarm function. This is the schematic connection used for the interrupt push buttons. 5 volts flow back to the interrupt pin limited by a 10k resistor and if uh, the button is pressed this is sufficient to pull the value low by the ground connected wire. Here you can see the push button for the first interrupt which will be rising edge trigger. So if the head is lifted the button is released and the alarm starts. While the second is the low level interrupt which will activate the other X factor while the push button is pressed. Then I completed the construction of the hardware. I began with the mouth and I used a whole plastic bucket which had the perfect diameter and rigidity. I cut a slice which will be the support for the lips. To attach this to the servo motor I need an extra strength metal wire. A drill can be very useful at times. Then more hot glue and the support for the mouth was completed. For the eyes, I purchased two 3mm ball and rods for $5, which will be perfect for the dual axial movement of the eyes. I have mounted them to the central wooden frame with 50mm long screws and L-shaped brackets. At the other end, I attached half ping pong balls using the inside of rivets and hot glue. To attach the eyes to the servos, I used metal wires, allowing a bit of flexibility in the movement. Bending the wires to the correct shape, I was able to obtain nice and controlled two-dimensional movements. For the mouth expression, I have downloaded some cartoons from the internet and printed on the label paper. Easy to stick to the mouth support. It's time to place the wall mechanism inside of the can, connecting the 26 wires and plug the batteries. I have used the same reinforced wires for the eyebrows directly attaching them to the two servos. I use an old wig left over from some party and I would suggest to every address to use hot glue for the signature eye style. A cut off from the wig for the eyebrows, some more picture from the internet for the pupils and the hardware is finished. 
Briefly, this is my Arduino sketch. I started defining some of the variables and also the five push buttons for the facial expressions and the on-off switch to toggle between auto and manual mode. This is the setup for the transmission with the serial monitor. In the setup code, I defined the seven output pins for the servo motor and defined the pulse with modulation for the positioning of the servo motors. Initially, the servos are driven to neutral position and here they are the maximum and the minimum values. But the register for the interrupts define interrupt 0 as low value triggered, while interrupt 1 is triggered on the rising edge. The push button for the facial expression are pull i. In the main loop, this if else statement defines when we are in manual or automatic mode, and when the value from the switch is low, we are in manual. So I define the setup for each servo motors in respect of the potentiometers, and specifically you can see the function setting the maximum and minimum value for each of the seven servo motors. The values for the servo motors are constantly printed to the serial monitor when in manual mode. Else, we are going to automatic mode. In this case, each of the five push buttons is assigned to a facial expression using a switch case function. The facial expression are then defined here. The first interrupt is activated on the rising edge, so when the push button is released, it recalls the function alarm, which initially set the facial expression to angry, and then loop five times through a sequence of intermittent red and blue LEDs. To finish with the usual facial expression, this is the same of the one at start up. Below are the definition of the facial expression for the first interrupt, while the second interrupt will keep recalling a function as long as the button is pressed, as this is a low level trigger interrupt. The function continuously moves five of the servo motors using this if else statement, so going up 21 steps, going down 21 steps, and the movements are linked linearly with the value of the 21 steps. To identify the correct position of each servo motors for each facial expressions for the preset functions was an easy job using the potentiometers and the corresponding values displayed on the serial monitor. After the facial expressions were recorded and everything was working perfectly, it was time for a practical demonstration.